Kelbrook, congratulations. I'm not sure where to start with you. I think I might call you the Southpaw Slayer. It's three in a row now, isn't it? Yeah, three in a row. Like I said, I've got no problem with Southpaws. I felt amazing tonight, Sharp. Uh, everything worked out. With Dominic telling me what to do in there, it all, it all come off. And again, again. What was Dominic telling you to do? Well, he said with Southpaw, he step, step to my left, step in, uh, put my foot in front of his in foot and come round and uh, catch him. Let him lead off with his left uh, jab and then coming on. I caught him with. That's what put him down first. That left, left, left counter, yeah. put him down, and it. I just, I just, it all worked, didn't it? Again. I think what was very evident tonight was your speed, Kel. It was really there, you know, in all the shots, jabs, everything. Yeah, my speed were there. Uh, it was just about patience tonight yeah. and getting him. I, I know for a fact I, I was going to get him. I just felt I felt spot on. Uh, power were there, the speed. So it's just the accuracy. It'll just come the perfect punch and it stopped the fight. You're on your way to gaining that uh, Lonsdale belt outright. We know that uh, just uh, another defence to do that. But now you're British champion. You have a big target on your back. What's it like being that man? Well, it, it's not too bad. Uh, Everyone wants, wants the British title, but when I get in, I seem to perform performing better because I know that everyone's hunting for that belt. Uh, every fact, like, I arrive at occasions, you know, when, when I'm topping bills and I get, the atmosphere gets to me, it makes me more cat like reactions and fast, and everything comes together. I want to bring in your man, Dominic Ingle, because Dominic, after the last fight, you said that almost that was the worst thing that could have happened to Kel, that it finished so quickly and made him feel like the training was useless. Tonight, it was two rounds, it wasn't much longer. What do you think of his performance tonight? That's the second worst thing that could have happened tonight. <laughs> no, it's, you know, he wasn't going to improve on, on the McIntyre performance. McIntyre uh, was the man to be, and obviously Kel did it in style. And tonight, we decided to take his time. It might take one or two or three rounds. The other guy's probably going to expect a quick finish, but you know, Kel composed himself, put his shots together well. And every shot that Kelly him on target with, it rocked him to his boots. And, you know, there's, the welterweights in, in Britain and Europe are going to be looking at him and thinking, I don't want to fight him. You know, he might have just made a rod for his own bike, yes. but luckily, you know, Frank's got the pulling power to get him in the fights that he wants. And, uh, you know, we're going to see a lot more of Kel Brook getting up into the ratings and being a star, really. I said to Kel, Kel tonight, I thought his speed was, was really improved tonight. It was excellent. Was it something that you worked on specifically to get him quicker? No, he's, he's, probably, he's probably thinking a little bit quicker. He's in the gym. He's got, you know, you came up there. Yeah. He's got kids from 18, 19, 20, all fast reactions, you know, throwing shots from all angles at him. And it's just a reaction what he does when he's throwing a bike. So, you know, Stuart Elwell is, is, is 30. And, uh, like, Kel's speed tonight was a telling fact to speed and power. And uh, the, the result was the right result. You mentioned there that he's the man to beat in the welterweight division, but uh, looking forward, we know that it's a very big long shot here, but if Michael Jennings could do something very special on February the 21st, I know you're nodding there, Kel, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, this could really be a dream fight. Yeah, I mean, if Jennings can beat Cotto, there's no, you know, it'll have to be the performance of his life, and I hope he can beat him. But even saying that, you know, we wouldn't, I don't think we'd have a problem uh, having a few fights and then putting, you know, putting Kellen with it, with Cotto. I don't know what Frank's plans are, but I'd be quite confident that depending on how Jennings goes on with him, we'd, we'd, we'd look at that and think, you know, what's Kell's chances? And Kell's 22, uh, Cotto's knocking on a bit near, 28, 29, I think. And he was he was the man on the in the position where Kell was, you know, so many years ago when he won the world title, he was about 22. Too. and he's been with everybody you know he got beaten his last fight and uh, you know kills on you know he's on he's, he's rising up there through the rankings and maybe that fight can be made gentlemen enjoy the moment thank you very much cheers